with blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead. Together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? SLB coming at you with another Blackest Night toy review. And if that oath was any indication to you, we'll be taking a look at Blackest Night Series 1 Collector Action Figure Red Lantern Atrocitus. Um, yeah, he's a mean guy, but he looks awesome. Um, but, you know, like I said, with... St. Walker packaging dismantled, but you get the exact same, you know, backdrop, Blackest Night Series 1, nothing fancy there, uh, Dead Shall Rise, words, 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 there we go, nice picture of him, kind of highlighted in red, and here is his bio, a little brief bio, you want to take a look at that, read it, and guess what, you're done, it's gone. Uh, here is Red Lantern Atrocitus, and he is just, oh my god, like, here's, here's Saint Walker, and I told you how the blue really stands out and really shines with this flat black, same can be said for Atrocitus, I mean, this red just shines, it looks great, um, getting him off his stand, putting him right there, here's his lantern here is the uh stand as i told you all of them come with this time in a nice trans transparent blah, 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 transparent red with white you know that's a sticker on there but looks really good really nice and this looks a lot better i'm going to say than the blue lantern one because you can really tell it's red this one you can kind of make out it's blue if this was a little bit lighter, it would have been better, but this looks really good. Um, you get some LEDs shining through us from the bottom. I think that will look really nice for display purposes. But that's it for the stand. And here is his lantern, like I said, with St. Walker. It's different. It's a different mold and a different handle than the other lanterns. Because here's, for comparison, here's Blue Lantern's lantern. Try saying that ten times fast. Um... And this handle doesn't move. I'm not going to try to make it move. It's staying right there. But that's why I think a little super glue will make all these look nice if I just put it like that. Um, but yeah, different mold. Still, you know, same weight, nothing too fancy. But there's that, and this is a really nice, you know, lantern. I mean, it's the same on both sides, nothing on the bottom, but this looks gnarly but moving right along here is atrocitus or however you want to pronounce it um i've heard different variations of it but i call him atrocitus because uh, sorry moving the chair uh, that just sounds okay by me now every figure is different he has very limited head articulation okay but the devil is in the detail. Let me tell you that right now. Getting really close at this guy's face. I mean, look at that. Head sculpt is amazing. The white in his teeth look outstanding. Yellow in his eyes just looks amazing. Um, the shading to all this gray and black in his face looks awesome that's continued even in the hands i mean his hands just look like death and blood and murder rage um but it's also you know from afar looks amazing too um articulation wise head does nothing arms Cannot do a full 3C because these shoulder pads. And these shoulder pads is a very hard plastic. I mean, and you, if you want, you can try to wedge it out there. But I guarantee you, you will break it if you try to get these out of there. They're just little 
probably super glue pegs in there. Um, but arms can go out, can go forward, they can go back. So you know you can get them doing that if you want to. Um, elbows can bend a little under 90 because the muscle just gets in the way. His big beefy you lift bro muscle. Um, hands do not move at all. Legs can go forward about like that. They can go. That's as far back as they go. I'm not gonna lie, that's it. And knees, you get a little under 90 degrees right there. Um, but like I said with Saint Walker, these guys are mainly to be for display purposes, and he looks awesome. That red just shines with that flat black. I really like the way they went with this. I mean, it just looks really good the way it is and um, you can kind of get him to hold his lantern in this hand but getting it to stay is kind of a pr problematic because his hands his fingers are you know you can get him to hold it like that but like I said I mean it's just gonna be like that that's how I'm gonna display it um, but again, a really nicely well done figure. Um, that detail in the hands and the face is just re really sells this figure. I mean, just looks mean and menacing. Um, but yeah, I mean, he looks really good. And he and for comparison purposes, let's get him next to Blue Lantern Saint Walker. Let's see if Blue Lantern will stay. There we go. I mean. For comparison purposes there they are next to each other and that just looks I and mean, you can tell the shine from their individual colors just really makes that stand out it really looks nice you know um, and again for more size comparison not vision this time we'll bring in Lego Green Lantern <laughs> he's just looking at him like oh crap Oh, that's not good. <laughs> um, but there you go. There's a comparison with a Lego minifigure. And again, Lego minifigures <laughs> almost as big as the lantern with the handle up. Just too funny. Um, something I forgot to mention. Uh, when the comic series was first coming out, uh, the comic book store I went to were giving out free promotional rings. Uh, they do nothing. But this is Blue Lantern St. Walker's, and here's the Red Lantern's individual rings. And yes, when I went and saw the Green Lantern movie, I was wearing these. My friend uh, John Robinson was wearing the Red Lantern. I was wearing a Blue Lantern. And that's why I don't wear comic book memorabilia to, move, bleh, comic book memorabilia to movies anymore. Because, you know, that's what happened with Green Lantern. Um... But yeah, that's it for Atrocitus. A really good figure. And you got to get the leader of the Red Lantern, of course, if you're going to start collecting these figures because he's the leader. He's the... He is the Red Lantern. I mean, um, he just looks awesome, too. It's just an awesome figure in itself. So, if you like this video, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, Facebook, all that good stuff will be in the description below. And that'll be it for Red Lantern Atrocitus from the Blackest Night DC Direct Toy Line series. And this is SLB saying, gotta get my hand in there, there we go, my childhood hates me. Boop, 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 boop. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. <laughs>